All right, boys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get a bunch of SA coins and more importantly, how you can maximize your SA coin gains from the uh, SA coin dungeon with the new teams and everything we have available now. Um, right, and the new options, there's more teams available now. I'm going to show you a couple. I'm going to show you which one I just use because it's the fastest one from my experience. There's a ton of different teams, though. Um, there's one thing that's important. I'm going to tell you this right now. Don't even bother watching the video. If you do not have this red Liz, don't watch this video. Okay, you don't need a holy relic. I'm too lazy to farm to farm deer. I might make a farm deer video just so I can have an excuse to farm deer. But I'm too lazy right now. Okay, to farm deer. And uh, you just need this red list. She can be level one. You just need her passive. Okay, and she goes into the back slot. Now, team wise, I'm going to show you some teams here. Okay, so first of all, we have the team that I use, which is this one. Okay, very nice. Okay, it's a very nice team. You have Kizuna, you have Eris, you have Red Humans, big damage, okay? Now, I will tell you also, do not buff with Kizuna in that event. Do you do less damage? I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. Um, oh, I guess because you have more health, I suppose. That's probably what it is. No, it's not it, because on this team too, you don't want to buff with her, because it gives you less damage. Um, somehow, I get the same damage with and without the buff. So it gets a counteracted. So, I don't know. This team's okay too. Obviously, I think Glock's probably not the best uh, to run here, but we don't really have like a different option. And I want to have a fairy on here. Because uh, Glock's relic really doesn't work in PvE. That's why it's not that good, right? Uh, but, I mean, this team can also two-turn it still. Um, same with this one. There, you can run different variations, right? You could give this guy, like I said, like you could just give this guy a commandment and then run like Red Zeldris and then like... I don't know, someone, some commandment that has AoEs. Um... You know, not many of them do, but you can, you can like do like a demon team too. All right, a bunch of the, their things uh, only work in PVE. This guy you could use, uh, he would work in everything. But team wise, for the most part, it's gonna be very simple. Use strong AOEs with red list backline, and they'll most likely be strong enough. Okay, uh, for that event because of how much damage you get. Okay, now that that's settled, let's talk about some uh, quick ways to get SA coins. And it's going to be, we go to little Buddha over here, you, you, you rub his belly. And then when you go to the guild shop, you can buy SA coins from this guy. Okay, very nice. And you probably have like 50,000 of these, okay? If you don't do guild wars, you probably have like 50,000 of these. And PP shop, same thing. You go over here. No, this is the most dog shit thing and they need to rework the entire shop. But you can buy one SA coin for 1,500. Okay, I know, crazy. It's not worth it. Uh, in the whole, like, if you don't spend any PP coins for a whole year, right? You have the cards already. Uh, you don't need anything else. Then I suppose you can buy these. But then you also have anvils who are like more worth it anyway. So I don't know. It's weird. It's horrendous. Please rework. Fix them. These Um Also, events will give you some. Right, this guy will give you ten if you uh, once you farm him. Uh, you can buy ten SA coins from this guy. And then guild boss, if you do it, which takes five minutes, will give you six SA coins as well. And that's very guys. Nice. That's very nice. Okay, you need this. Um, and that's all. Now let's we can go into the actual gameplay part, which I've already recorded because I've already recorded this video. So I'm going to show you it from the actual video that I recorded. So this is the video. This is me. Um, let's uh, just do this. And um, I was explaining stuff and everything, right? Okay. Anyway, so when you go in, the most important part is one: you have 30 minutes. So be make sure you have your team set before already. Now, after this, you want to compliment my glasses. I got new glasses, guys. Okay, do you like them? I like them. Anyway, you go in. And also, there's like Mikasa. I was talking about like you can run like a Mikasa team probably as well. Uh, but anyway, you go in. And the way it works is, okay, you'll see this, by the way. You buff up, you do less damage. I don't know why. Okay, look. 700k, okay? I go in. Again, I don't buff. And she does a million. I don't know why that, why that works. Anyway, the goal is that when you kill them, they drop a chest. You see how they didn't drop anything? When this happens, what you do? You reset. You go back out. You don't finish the event. Okay? Because if you do, you, you waste a run. If you back out, you don't have you don't waste a run, right? If I click this again, I still have my 12 runs. Okay? And that's that's the tech. That's what you want to do. You want to reset until you get a chest. Which I had a pretty like unlucky streak here, I think. But there you go. These guys, I killed them. One guy drops a chest, okay? Only one of them can drop a chest. And there's different rarities. You can have a bronze chest, you can have a silver chest, and a gold chest. Okay, bronze, obviously, one SA coin, silver, two, gold, three. You typically, because of the time and everything, you only want to reset until you get just get a chest. You just want to get a bronze chest, at least, okay? And then you can, you can or like a wooden chest, and then you can continue, okay? Uh, now, when you continue, you have a little bro over here. He can also drop different rarities of chests, okay? So here, I got two bronze ones. Or like, well, I'm just going to call them bronze, but they're like... Like, steel, wood, just wooden chests. Right, I'm just gonna call it wooden chests, okay? And they both give me one. Right now, later on, I actually get a higher rarity one, which is... Uh, 
uh, here. Yeah, I get a silver chest. Okay. And then this guy, I believe he drops gold. Yeah, he drops his gold one. Okay, there you go. You see the gold one pop out? Now, on this one, I get five. Okay? And that's why you want to reset for chests. If you do this normally, and you just run for your 12 runs, there's a very, very high chance you just get 12 SA coins. Plus, like, the bonus here is, like, one more. Okay, 30. If you do it this way, and let's say you get four on average, three, four, three, let's say three on average, three on average, right? Then you get 36. But there's a very high chance you get way more, okay? Because you can get six a run. Plus this, okay? But obviously, that's going to be insane RNG. If they ever remove the time limit, people will get 60 plus every single time they do this. But there's a time limit for that exact reason, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so th this is very important. And then I think I just like finish off and whatever, right? But that's it. Okay, now there's also the god run. As you see in the top left, I already got a gold chest from the first phase. Oh, and then uh, when I kill this guy, he also drops a gold chest. Okay, so I get six. Very juicy. Very juicy, very powerful. I don't have background music playing. I am very sorry for this. Um, but that, that's, the, that's the idea, okay? Um, that's the idea. That's what you want to do every time you do this. All right? If you, if you don't do this, you're wasting your time. And here's me trying out the other teams and, like, trying to see how, like, the buff stuff, like, reduces their damage. Like, 870k here. And then he does, like, 900k here without a buff. I don't, I don't know why that, like, works like that. But... Again, just don't buff, and then, like, with with, with the Glocks AOE, I think I, like, almost killed them. Yeah, I, I killed them, I think, almost. Did they die to bleed? Yeah, I didn't have attack gear and everything on. Like, King was on HP gear at that point still, because I forgot. Uh, I think I changed it on the next one. But whatever. Um, the teams worked the other ones as well, obviously. I think this is the melee run. Oh, no, this is me changing to attack gear. Yeah, and then he, he works. Yeah, okay. And on the melee team, same thing. Um, right, you just... You just do AoE, AoE into his AoE, right? I actually did Bond's AoE, by the way. I did 500k. Crazy. Um, and then, boom. I didn't... I didn't. I did, I did get a bronze chest. So I just continued. You don't need to roll for a silver one. So you have 30 minutes to do 12 clears. For the most part, just getting a chest will be good, okay? If you have, like, three runs left and it, it says you have 10 minutes, then go ahead. I actually try and reset for a silver one, maybe, on the first one. Um, but a lot of times, if you try and always go for silvers, what happens is it'll be, like, five minutes left and you have seven runs. Uh, so you kind of just got like speed run them. So that's why just at least get a bronze chest and it will double what you already are getting from your normal runs If you always reset for a bronze one, okay, you no one drops anything on phase one, right? You uh, go back. So is this the video? This is not the video. Is this the video? This is not my video. This is the video, right? So if your stuff looks like this, okay, well, let's go back uh, Right if it looks like this no chest, you reset. If you have any chest, you keep going. And that's pretty much the gist of it. That's what you want to do. This is how you get more say coins. And that's pretty much everything. Uh, I think I don't think I have anything else to cover. How long is the video? Eight minutes. There you go. I'm a genius, okay? This video itself was 13 minutes, and I actually didn't even explain the chest rarities. I just said, oh yeah, nice, we got lucky this time. I didn't like, like care to explain, oh yeah, guys, you can also get higher rarity chests. Because the tactic is not to wait for higher high rarity chests, you just want to wait for chests, okay? Realistically speaking. Uh, because the game loading times and everything, like the time eats away and then you need you need to be quicker, okay? So at least just reset for a chest and you get more this way. Use your festival coins that you have of 6-6 six, six characters. Don't use your dark and light ones. I would recommend, I, I think you should hold on to them. Unless you have like a ton of them. Like I have a ton of them now, I'm probably going to start using them. But... I'm just saying, do this if you have it. If you don't have any fast coins, you don't need to. You get a key every two weeks anyway, right? But that's the idea. That's how you can borrow SA coins. That's how you can super awaken your character. I did this entire video because I needed to super awaken my DN. And I didn't have any SA coins. Um, so that's why I did this video, right? Again, I need to farm bird, uh, deer. So I might make a deer gu uh, guide too, if you guys want me to. Okay, but I didn't have any, but now I have them. But now I'm, I'm, out, I'm out again, right? So it is what it is. But whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, I think I also covered this guy gives you 10, by the way. If you did, if you haven't seen this, you know, every, most events will give you like 10 SA coins. So do them as well. Uh, guild boss gives you six. Uh, this guy, you can buy some of them for guild coins and PP coins. Bop, 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 bop. That's, that's mostly the only, like, real resource of uh, them you can get. Whatever. Good job. Ciao.